Good evening, this is City News Daily on City TV with me, Pearl Akanya Ofori. Coming up today, courts grants bail to Chinese women believed to be involved in illegal mining in the Ashanti region. Also, seven more picked up in connection with the gruesome murder of Captain Maxwell Mahama. Details coming up shortly. Today, an Accra High Court granted bail to Aisha Wan, a Chinese national. She and four others are standing trial for engaging in illegal mining in the Ashanti region. Well, on Tuesday, May 23, Miss Huan went berserk in court after the court refused her bail for the second time. So what happened in court today? City News Daily's Caleb Kuda has more. The court, presided over by Justice Charles Echo Baden, said the prosecution did not demonstrate how the accused would interfere with investigations, hence the decision. The judge said the state prosecutor did not present what corresponds with the charges. The five Chinese were granted bail to the tune of 500,000 cities with two sureties. Aisha Huang and the other Chinese nationals have also been ordered to hand over their passports to officials of the court. Their lawyer, Kwame Redu, says they will meet the bail conditions. For City News Daily, I am Caleb Kuda. So police in the central region have picked up seven more people in connection with the murder of Captain Maxwell Mahama. This brings to 14 the number of people arrested in connection with the lynching. Well, we spoke to our central regional correspondent, Joseph Kwamina Akon. The seven arrested, five of them were arrested in the western region at Asenkogwa. And then another one was arrested far away in the Brongahaven region, that's Tichiman. And then one other person named Kwisibua, who is 30 years, was arrested here in the central region at Gumwa Ujobi. And we hear from the police that he was given away by an informant. All these suspects are in police custody. And what we can now see is that we now have 14 suspects in police custody. The police suspect that these are people that can help in investigation. That's why they have grabbed them. And when they go to court, we can see all that could be. The way they contributed to the murder of the victim. We go to the Upper West region and 1,000 cases of HIV AIDS were recorded in that region as at December 2016. Uh, this is according to the Upper West Regional Technical Coordinator of the Ghana AIDS Commission, Yakubu Dramani. He said over 2,000 of the patients are currently receiving treatment in hospital. Our correspondent in that region is Latif Mahaman. He sent this report. The Upper West Regional Technical Coordinator of the Ghana East Commission, Mr. Yakub Dramani, revealed this during a stakeholders' meeting in WA. The meeting was to share the outcome of antiretroviral therapy site visits embarked on by the Regional Social Accountability Monitoring Committee in 2016. The technical coordinator bemoaned that in spite of several interventions to curb the spread of HIV-AIDS, stigma against persons living with the virus still continue to be a bane, making some infected persons shy away from treatment. People think that if you have HIV, it means that you are either a sex worker or you are not faithful. So that uh, structural or societal underpinnings of the beginning of the uh, illness is part of the problem that we are facing at the moment. This and many other challenges have pushed the Upper West region to move from the second lowest in 2015 per the 2016 HIV Sentinel survey results to tie with Western region as the fifth most HIV infected region in the country. Reporting for City News, Latif Mahama, WA. Well, next Monday, basic school pupils will sit for the Basic Education Certificate Examination, that's BECE. Now, ahead of that examination, the West African Examinations Council says it has put in place enough security measures to ensure a leakage-free exam. Over 400,000 candidates from over 15,000 public and private schools are expected to sit for the exam at 1,702 centers across the country. Well, the week-long exam is expected to end on Friday, June 9, 2016. The head of public relations at the West African Examinations Council, Agnes Teikuju, is appealing to all stakeholders to put in their best to ensure the week-long exercise 
is successful. That'll be it for today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Piola Kanyofori. Enjoy your weekend. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy, and fashion. Call us 1243-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.